Hey guys, it's Sunday the 12th of October. Uh, I'm down my allotment. I've probably been down here about six hours, uh, and this is the first time I've been down properly for around about four weeks. So I'm way behind on where I wanted to get, which I'll show you in a bit. Um, but I just wanted to give you a quick update, show you how things are getting on, and just show you what I'm doing. So what I'll do is I'll just come back out this shed and. I'll show you the shed so as you can see that is my shed uh, nothing too fancy some tools on the side various bits and pieces in the drawers uh, just somewhere where to keep everything really and my garlic harvest from the other plot and they're, they're really nice actually so and you can remember this before was just all grass um, so I've dug it all over cleared it um, and also lowered that bit there and raised this bit down here so I'm hoping I can get a greenhouse up there. Um, not sure when, it'll just be as and when I see one. Not too big, but somewhere just to, to grow a few things in the summer. And just to keep some of the tender plants sheltered during the winter as well. As you can see, I've got my windows that I've brought down. I've took my cold frame apart from the, uh, my old allotment and start to bring a few things down um, planted a few rose bushes uh, that one was from my old allotment and that one I had the uh, just before I went on holiday uh, on my honeymoon so as you can see all this is barked as well apart from that bit there'll be another compost bin similar to that going there and sure where well you can see that but I've uh, brought some of the compost from my old allotment down with me and that was full but as you can see I've used quite a lot of it and he's got a few few bags just to store just to start the compost process so at the moment I'm just filling this one there's not a lot in there again that was full before I went on my honeymoon so it's running down quite nicely uh, the other two are empty I'll probably use the far one for leaf mold and I'm not sure on the middle one just use it as and when so as you can see all that's been raised um, it was done yeah I, I didn't plan to do it but I put the shed on some pallets which meant there was a step up to the shed so instead of just walking straight to the shed and stepping up to it I thought it would be a little bit better to, to raise this and have that area all higher than everything else a few strawberries I took from my old allotment I'm just getting the runners going on them and my mint which I've just gave it a quick uh, trim over. First water container, which is a wheelie bin that was abandoned um, at my old allotment. Been in the hedge for a couple of weeks. No one claimed it, so I had it. Um, filling up quite nicely. Um, I'm hoping get a few more um, water tubs along there and have that one have it all coming into there when that gets full it goes into the other two I've also got another one round here which just after my wedding I come down moved it and that little tap down there I'm not sure how well you can see it kicked it loosed all the water out so the water drained and 
so it's got to fill back up again and there's just some wood down there window frames um, that's where I chucked a lot of the grass when I first started digging, the o digging it over just to give for some security as it's not a very good fence back there we have been having break-ins um, that's what that piece of wood's there for uh, we don't think it's anything serious we think it's a tramp somewhere coming in um, uh, well, the reason we think it's a tramp is because they are pinching coffee tea milk and sugar and loiters and stuff like that so at first we thought it was kids but considering the pinching coffee tea milk sugar we think it's a tramp so they actually broke the original original latch on that so put that one on and when I come back from my honeymoon this was split along there and that was like dangling down so I've put a piece of wood all the way down just to secure it uh, I've got to get another piece of wood there just so they can't get a crowbar underneath and try and pull it off now obviously they've had a go but I've not done it successfully so I'm hoping that they'll just keep my shed a little bit more secure uh, and this bed I've finished off today I originally dug it over back in June in July and I left it and then it was covered in weeds so I gave it another dig over I've probably put a, an inch of all smuck at the bottom then another inch of uh, like grass and leaf clippings and some like bark chippings and everything and then I've put just put some compost over the top um, this originally was going to be my garlic bed or my onion bed but I'm going to leave it for a little bit um, I'm going to let this let, let it rot down over winter give it a dig over in January apply some more muck and compost um, and I'll probably have this for my potatoes next year now if you remember when I first showed you this plot that marker is where I wanted to be after a month as you can see I'm not there um, I just haven't had the time to do what I wanted to do plus I've spent a lot of time getting that lot right or trying to get it right so I don't have to spend a lot of time next year now along here I'm just gonna have a lot of smaller beds instead of having one big one because that was a pain to go over this morning so I think a lot of smaller beds not raised as high as that um, but yeah just a lot of smaller beds all along here now so that was the marker I'm hoping before winter finishes the end of winter I can be roughly about here um, next to the blackcurrant bush now I'm tempted to move that blackcurrant bush right to the front and have the front as kind of like uh, flowers, there's some uh, my bulbs, just basically have like a wild area and I was going to leave them for the birds as I've already got some blackcurrant bushes and to be honest they, these ones taste revolting so I was going to move them, leave them for the birds um, just covered this up today as well just to try and keep the weeds at bay because I'm not going to use this bit until at least next winter before I'll dig it over but this bit I will clear up like I said just to make it a little bit tidier and I will run a fence all the way along back up to back up to there which I've started putting in um, just to just 
divide things up so and also we've got a rabbit problem down here try and keep the rabbits out for now so yeah that's where I am I'm at um, hopefully now this is finished uh, my honeymoon's over my wedding's over I can get cracking with this bit so I'm hoping next week I can get another bed smaller bed built along this area um, and at least start to run a path up there so until next time I'll see you later.